Hey guys, what's going on? Gabe Flowers coming to you. Oscar. I'm sitting outside. It's a really, really beautiful day. So I figured I'd do it, you know, on my patio. Um, it is day six. Woohoo! Day six, and I am still going strong. Still no cheating. I'm staying to my diet. Oscar, I'm gonna put you inside in a minute. Be quiet. Oh my god, this dog is crazy. Um, so, let's see. I got on the scale this morning, and I weighed 147.6. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. Um, I think yesterday, yesterday when I got on the scale, I was 148 point, no, 149.6. And then, um, day, what day was that? Four? Because I think my last video was day... And they one, two, three. So four, five. This is actually video for day four, five, but I didn't make it last night because I fell asleep. So on day four, I weighed 150.4, um, which was like a two, two pound or so loss from the day before. And then um, day five, I weighed 149.6, which was only like 0.8 loss from day four and I was kind of like eh, but I'm kind of seeing a pattern because I had a one of the other days was a 0.8 loss so it's like I lose a pound or two and then I lose 0.8 and then I lose a pound or two and I lose 0.8 so I don't know so when I woke up this morning day six I weighed 147.6 which is exactly two pounds from yesterday and I'm really proud of myself you know um, food has always been a big struggle for me like a really really big struggle for me um I'm an emotional eater and yesterday I had like the worst day ever it's been like the past couple of days have been bad but it kind of hit me yesterday you know kind of like the after effects and I mean it was it was just really bad bad to the point where I didn't go to work last night I didn't go to my part-time job I could I just couldn't I couldn't I couldn't get myself together like it was it was that bad so I you know took some time to rest uh, which I probably needed anyway took some time to rest and you know so today is a much better day and I am determined to not let that creep up in my mind today. I'm on my way to do some uh, community service this morning. And, you know, it's just going to be a good day. I have a wedding to sing at uh, this afternoon. And then I think uh, maybe a cookout or get together to go to later on. It is Memorial Day weekend, so I am very, very scared. I'm kind of nervous because I have, like, two cookouts to go to. I have to make a cake for one. I still haven't decided if I'm going to make that cake yet. I'm kind of thinking about paying my mama to make it for me because I don't know if I can hold it together. You know, making a cake, you want to lick the spoon and the batter. and You know, it's a punch bowl cake. It's a famous punch bowl cake that I make. And uh, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. Some fun. So, <laughs> so I'll be, so I know that I won't taste anything because you guys will be watching. I'll think about that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you the update. Um, oh, and what I was trying to say about being an emotional eater. Hey, I was very proud of myself last night because normally I probably would have wanted some cookies or some ice cream or something because I'm sobbing. You know, I couldn't get it together. I couldn't even hardly get it together when I called my boss to tell him I couldn't come in to work. But I did really well. I had some grapefruit instead. Um, and, you know, I, I did good. So... I think that it's definitely a mind thing. It's something that I'm starting to realize. With the food, it's definitely a mind thing. You know, you have to train your mind <clears throat> to eat when it's hungry. And I have noticed that I don't have as many cravings for the stuff <clears throat> that I did, you know, like when I was eating it. Because, you know, the more you eat sugar, the more you crave it. So once you start kind of tapering it off, you know, it. It dwindles down, so I'm really happy about that. Excuse me. My handy dandy water bottle that says, "Who says this is water?" I thought it was the cutest thing. It's like 20 ounces. I drink like six of these a day, <laughs> so make sure I get my water intake. But yeah, everything is going well. I appreciate everybody's, um, you know, encouragement. There's a couple people that said some things about 
the normal HCG minus the or versus the homeopathic HCG, and I was explaining to him that I ordered the homeopathic before I totally finished my research. So then I saw like all the disputes and whether it works and whether it doesn't work and blah blah blah. But so far, it's been working for me. So I mean, we'll see. I'm considering ordering the real HCG for. Um, for my second round because I'm gonna try to do 40 days but uh yeah 40 days will take me right up to like July 2nd which is the day that I'm going on vacation actually um <clears throat> I'm going to Disney World anyway that's a whole nother story so yeah that's the update down two pounds this is the beginning of day six so please pray for me that I'll be strong today at the wedding I just made my fish, so I'm going to take some fish and take some vegetables with me, cut up my grapefruit, and so I can be set. So I won't eat at the wedding, even though I love wedding cake. That's all right. It'll be plenty wedding cake later later on in life. Um, and then tomorrow, the cookouts for Memorial Day. So, all right, you guys. Have a good one. Enjoy your holiday, and I'll be talking to you soon.